Shamase. Hey everyone, this is Joseph. Welcome to the channel. I saw this article on Marfugal TV. It says one of the most complicated space journeys ever planned, NASA's Lucy mission to eight asteroids is scheduled for liftoff early Saturday from Florida. Lucy will unfurl giant solar arrays 24 feet in diameter about one hour after launch, and it will circle the sun near Earth for three years to use the planet's gravity in two speed boosts to eventually spiral out through the solar system. It says this is to learn about Trojan asteroids. So the eight asteroids could symbolically relate to the eight sections of the year with equinoxes, solstices, and etc. So there was a comment on the Marfugal show, and I wanted to point out that while Lucifer is a morning star, Jesus is the bright and morning star. So here's a clip from Michael Heiser about uniqueness. But the fundamental question is, Jesus is the son of God, and that, that seems like a big deal in the New Testament, but we've got all these other sons of God in the, in the Old Testament who are spiritual beings. Like, how can that be? How does that work? Well, if we go to John 3, 16, again, this is a verse that I'm sure all of us know by heart. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Let me turn on my pain view again. His only son. All right, here we have the Greek word behind the one I clicked on is monogenes, monogenes. Now there was a time in biblical studies and it's reflected in older translations like the, the King James, it'll say only begotten. There was a time in biblical studies where monogenes was thought to originate from two Greek terms. Manos, which means one or only, and then genao, which is a verb that means to beget. And that's where we got the, tr the, tr the translation only begotten. Now, in the late 19th, you know, early to mid 20th centuries, there was more Greek material from the, the Koine, uh, the Koine stage of the Greek language, which is the language of the New Testament, Koine Greek, that established the fact that that's really not what's going on with monogenes. Instead of monogenes being formed from manos and genao, it's really formed from manos and the noun gene. Manos means one or only, gene means kind or type a type of a thing, a kind of thing. What the term really means is one of a kind, unique. Okay, for God so loved the world that he gave his unique son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. You say, well, big deal, Mike. Now, if we, if we did a search, and I'm going to do a search here on the lemma monogenes, and just do a quick search of my Bible, Let's make this a little bigger. I'm not gonna go through all of these because there's a, they're all consistent with what I'm gonna say, but there's a key one down here in Hebrews 11, 7, or 11, 17, pardon me. By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, who had received the promises. Uh, and he who had received the promises was in the act of offering up his only, there's the word, his only, his monogenes son. Question. Was Isaac Abraham's only son? No, he'd already had a boy, Ishmael. In fact, Isaac wasn't even the firstborn, at least, you know, of all Abraham's sons. He's the firstborn of Sarah. But why would Isaac be called monogenes? Why would Isaac be unique? It's because he was the son of Sarah by supernatural act of God, and he was the inheritor of the covenant. None of, other, none of Abraham's other sons could say that. Okay, what's the point? The point is that the term means unique, and we can see that in this parallel. This is why Isaac is specifically isolated, and it doesn't mean the only one that exists. 
Okay, like, like the people who want to say that Psalm 82 is just, you know, Elohim or people, okay? None of the other gods exist. No. No, Jesus is called the monogenes for a very specific reason. What makes Jesus unique among all other sons of God? He's Yahweh. He has, again, the unique set of attributes of, of, of Yahweh. He was the son who preexisted his birth. Okay, that one is the one that God sent, again, to be an offering for sin. None of the other ones, that one. So you can have multiple sons of God who are supernatural beings. Okay, thanks for watching. Arigato, matane, bye-bye.